Hello, my name's Nigel Allen and I've worked for High Control for nearly 30 years, specialising in the area of silo protection on a basic silo safety system. You need a filter. I think the industry agrees that a reverse jet is the best option if it's sized correctly, which is typically between 226, 260 square feet of surface area, that should be fine. However, you still need to be aware, even if you've fitted a brand new filter, that this cannot cope with an uncontrolled discharge. Let me explain. If you imagine the tanker as a, as a balloon, it's filled slowly uh, with a low flow, low pressure. But if you blow up a balloon and then just release it, you know when you release the spout, yeah, it just rushes out. Well, this is exactly what happens at the end of a delivery. The driver discharges the remaining air through the silo uncontrollably and the filter just cannot cope and the silo will overpressurize. Because of this, the most critical component is a pressure sensor. This not only protects against the driver error, but also against filter failure or filter blockage. So just to clarify, the pressures involved are very small, very tiny. In fact, they are the same as those used to blow up a child's balloon. I mean, it's difficult to imagine that such a low pressure uh, could blow a filter from the silo roof, but this is exactly what could happen. This is why the pressure sensor has to be accurate and it must be fail safe. And when I say fail safe, I mean fail safe. When it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, it must warn you and prevent the fill valve from opening. If this switch does not operate correctly, you have no safety system at all. It is as simple as that. Everything you fit on your silo safety system is a waste of time if your pressure sensor doesn't work. So in choosing a pressure sensor, ensure it is fail safe. But be aware, many cheap switches simply are just not fail safe. So, thanks for listening, stay safe, and remember, safe silos are tested every time. Thank you.